But if you write down the most general mathematical equation for a cone and try graphing it, you'll get something that looks like two cones glued together. You see, a mathematical cone has two halves, one that points up and one that points down, connected at their tips. And what we think of as cones in the real world are actually just chopped up pieces of the full mathematical cone. Black holes are exactly the same way. Let me explain. The upshot of all this is that the same mathematical equation describing the regular universe and the black hole also describes the parallel universe and the white hole. This doesn't mean that every black hole comes attached to a white hole though. Just like with cones, the real universe can contain chopped up pieces of the full mathematical solution. But this does mean that even if white holes are less common than their black hole counterparts, or even if there aren't any white holes connected to our universe at all, it doesn't make them any less scientific in the sense that they are equally consistent with the laws of physics. In our analogy, if you imagine that ice cream cones remain extremely popular, while traffic cones become difficult to produce and are phased out of existence, that doesn't make the idea of a traffic cone any less real. This is more or less the status of white holes today. 